Ayyudu billahi minna shaytani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected shaitan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you also. Welcome again, Ahsan. In this video, we're going to discuss the concept of courage. One thing I've noticed in my life is that the majority of individuals, and I mean this with all due respect I can for everyone that has it, it has the courage to live this life. We have we it takes courage to get out of bed. It takes courage to go to work. It takes courage to even speak to another human being in this life. And that's not because the world is somehow getting worse. No, it takes courage to live. But even still, the true sign of a courageous individual is someone who is not afraid, who does not back down from pain, from sorrow, from fear, from hesitation, from anxiety. So, there is an individual in the Christian Bible named Job. In the Islamic tradition, his name is Ayub, and we give him the traditional blessing after his name. So we say Ayub alayhi salam. This individual lost almost everything that he had, land, children, animals, among other things. And in both traditions, this individual sought God, Allah. This individual thanked, thanked Allah. This individual was thankful to the core of who he was to go through these trials because he knew the strength that was he was that 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 that, that welled up inside of him that he was not going through these trials alone no matter where i go in life when i share anything without fail there is the majority of individuals, the first thing they say is, oh, this is why you shouldn't do that. Oh, this is what's going to happen. This, 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 this. I'm relentless in my positivity and in my desire. I am a Muslim. I do not care how hard this life is. It doesn't matter. I, I, I just don't understand. Why are people so afraid? People are afraid to develop relationships. They're afraid to achieve their goals, whether they want to go to school, whether they want to read a book, whether they want to have a conversation with someone, whether they want to uh, try to better understand their own emotions, their mentality, their intellect, whatever spiritual goals they choose, since this word is very popular now. And I mean, this, this is no matter who it is, no matter the age, no matter the generation, no matter the continent or the culture or the religion that they come from. Everyone, for the most part, is afraid. Why? Why are we afraid? And I, I have had individuals tell me to my face, how dare you? How dare you tell me that I can grow? How dare you tell me that I can work on myself? I'm fine just the way I am. I have, I have no problems at all with who I am, where I'm at in my life. Don't you tell me that I can grow. And I, I'm not sad for these individuals. I pity them. I pity them because they don't know the joy. They don't know the joy of true courage, of true, what we used to call in the military, intestinal fortitude. This is the courage to keep going no matter what, even in the face of death, in the face of all odds, when all odds seem stacked against you. I don't give up, I don't give in, and I don't back down. I am a Muslim. And the word itself means to submit, to submit your will. Why, and why do we submit our will? Because we, in this life, we are living inside of these human bodies. We have a, a finite brain, we have a finite intellect, we have a finite health. This, this, this is all going to pass away one day. So why in the world would we not be courageous enough to know 
that there is more to life than this. So many people have told me, oh, if, if you, we don't know, you want to know the secret of life? Just here in America, you have this insane notion. It's ridiculous. You hear people say all the time, oh, just go out there and find something that makes you happy. Really? Now, I can think of a lot of things that make me happy, but they don't fulfill me. Nothing in this life gives me a happiness that is lasting. What gives me happiness is knowing that no matter what happens in my life, I don't give up. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Where do we go from here? For those of you that are inspired and encouraged by the words that I'm speaking, how do you develop this? As a Muslim, I would say that we need to pray. As a Muslim, when we are praying our salah or our prayer, when we have our face bowed into the ground, what is known as a sujood, this is the time where we make something called dua. We make or our supplications to Allah. And all too often, I've noticed that people will say, well, you know, God didn't answer my prayers. Really? If you, if you see prayers as transactional, if you see prayer as something where almost like a vending machine, where you, you make your request and you wait for something to come back, Brothers, sisters, friends, this is not the essence of prayer. This is why I've noticed so many people, they want to run their mouths about what they've learned. But have you put it into practice? Have you truly put it into practice? What, where is the evidence for the things that you have learned in your life? Show me. But better than showing me, show yourself. Don't be afraid. For each one of us, we have to find the path. We have to find the way into our own hearts. I live from right here in my heart, and that's an awful big place to live. When you live from right here, you you do not lack the courage. Do I always do the things that I set out to do? Do I always have the reactions and the responses that I set out to? Absolutely not, absolutely not. But I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to be in pain. I'm not afraid to be in mental pain. I'm not afraid to be in physical pain. I'm not afraid to be in emotional pain. I'm not afraid to be manipulated. I'm not afraid to be used. I'm not afraid to be physically beat. I'm not even afraid to be killed. When you pray, you are not alone. When you struggle, you are not alone. We are doing this all together. Remember this. Do not give up. Do not give in. You are not alone. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you also. Peace be upon you. See you in the next one.